Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the top four cloud security certifications for 2020. Now, as we're gonna head into uh, 2020 soon, and I'm sure, uh, just like me, every one of you guys uh, would like to decide like which certification you want to achieve in the new year, or at least uh, like you know try to get an idea if something that you need to read about or, or something that you might want to pursue. So I thought this is the best time to uh, kind of share my perspective on what certification that I would be thinking if I would like to go to the cloud. Now, first and foremost, foremost questions like why cloud? Why cloud security and not anything else? Uh, one of the top reason is uh, the growth rate that the cloud has. Uh, right now, the adoption, big and big organizations are now going cloud like from on-premise. Uh, usually, uh, like you know, companies uh, used to have like uh, on-premise servers and data centers and everything, but now they are moving to uh, different cloud providers like AWS and Azure and the Google and Oracle and IBM and all those uh, uh, companies who provide the cloud computing. So they're they're uh, getting more and more uh, cloud adaption, and as more and more people are or organizations are going into the cloud, there will be a more and more people required to manage the cloud and also secure the cloud infrastructures and everything, define the best practices and etc. Now, right now, if you see the market, uh, there is a big scarcity of the skilled people who knows uh, the cloud security. Uh, um, maybe some there are some people who knows like you know uh, specific like uh, vendor specific security, but they they do not have enough understanding on how what the vendor neutral uh, best practices for clouds are. So and 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 sometimes uh, organization will just go to the cloud because everyone else is going without considering uh, what the what, what could be the risk measures are. So uh, that's why we need we uh, there, there are a lot of jobs available, but there are not enough skilled people. And uh, if you get one of the certification, of course, you will uh, have better uh, probability of get, uh, land one of these uh, dream job. And also, as you move to the cloud, there's a lot of automation. And when you have a lot of automation, uh, you you need to uh, have good amount of experience. So, which auto, like you know, how you want to like to do the automation, which tool you want to adopt, so you can automate and and things like that. So, again, uh, by going through these certifications, uh, you will have a better understanding on on how the automation looks like and in within the cloud and and how you can uh, help your organizations on moving or or transitioning on premise to cloud securely. All right, so with that, let's move on to our first uh, certification, and this is uh, one of my favorite, Certified Cloud Security Professional. Uh, this is also called CCSP. Now, this is one of the most popular cloud certification uh, for today, and also, uh, like you know, it offers uh, the professional that it has a profound understanding and coupled with the hands-on experience with the cloud security architecture, design, operations, and Cloud Services Orchestration. Now, this is provided by ISC uh, Square. Uh, of course, there is a prerequisite. You should have five years of IT experience, or one year of cloud security, and one of and and within that one year should be cloud security. Exam details is fairly simple. Uh, it, it will ask you 125 questions with the multiple choice, and you will need to get 700 score out of 1,000. Four hours to complete the exam, which I find uh, usual. Like this is not something uh, very difficult or something you can crack. I have personally gone through the CCSP book uh, provided by uh, the ISC Square. It, it's 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 a good book, and and even if you do not want to go through the certification, you can still. Uh, actually, you can still like you know uh, read through the book and uh, so uh, price of this certification is 549. Of course, I know that um, several organizations would uh, reimburse their employees for the certifications if uh, they're working in the same domain. So, and again, this is not uh, a huge price, but of course, uh, if you get the certification, it will be a big boost up to your career and of course salary. So the medium salary for this certification is. Hundred and thirty-three thousand U.S. dollars. Of course, this uh, really depends on where you live, what's the cost of living. So, but this is uh, just a median salary across the U.S. Uh, so, again, based on a geographical area, it could be uh, different. Next one uh, we have is the CSK. Now, this certification uh, area, like you no know, cloud security area, uh, covers. Uh, 
CSA security guidance and ENISA report. Now this will also, once you subscribe to that, you will also have access to uh, their career resources and like you know networking ideas and tools and all those things. Now this is provided by the Cloud Security Alliance. Uh, uh, the big advantage is there are no prerequisites. So someone who wants to get into the uh, cloud security with no prior IT experience can appear for this certification and uh, uh, it may be, uh, may find it a little difficult for someone who is just straight out of college and, and getting into this one, but still uh, you can always uh, like, you know, have multiple attempts to go for this exam essentially because it does not have any prerequisite. Uh, the exam details, so it requires you to answer 60 questions in 90 minutes, which is uh, multiple choice, so you have plenty of time to answer those questions if you have read the book thoroughly. Uh, the price of the exam is a little bit less than the CCSP, uh, so 345 bucks uh, for the uh, appearance, and then the median salary across the U.S. for this one is $139,000. Again, it depends on uh, where you live. Uh, but again, what I've also found is uh, sometimes uh, this medium salary is not uh, going to uh, be same across, like you know, every country. So sometimes you would also find CCSP salary is uh, like uh, people with CCSP certification may get more salary than the CSK. All right, let's move on and let's talk about the third one. Uh, so the third one is PCSM, which is Professional Cloud Security Manager. Now, this certificate validates uh, your security skills, experience, and knowledge of the cloud environment and demonstrates that you are capable of managing uh, your organization cloud security. Now, this will also expect you uh, to have master with certain in certain other areas, like you know how you do you secure cloud services and deployment model. How uh, do you know about the best practices of cloud security and how do you implement those? So all of this covers uh, during the certification. It also covers like you know how do you secure data applications, operating systems, and then uh, how do you manage and control the cloud security access. So these are very fundamentals, fundamentals, and and of course this is covered by PCSM. Uh, the provider is Cloud Credential Council, uh, and then there is a prerequisite is should be full-time IT professional uh, exam detail. So these are uh, this is I would say the shortest exam because it only asks you for the 40 questions, and then they'll give you 60 minutes to answer those. Uh, again, this multiple choice. Uh, the exam price is similar to uh, what CSK, uh, three or five, a little bit lesser than that. And the median salary for this one is $119,000, uh, which is uh, which is not bad. Like uh, if you're working for the full-time IT professional, you want to jump around the cloud security manager role. Of course, this is uh, the good starting point for uh, someone. And again, as I said, like you know, there are plenty of uh, uh, open jobs for the cloud security. So, all right. So the fourth one is the cloud uh, certified cloud security specialist. Uh, so the provider is Global Science and Technology Forum. Uh, now this is not a, uh, I would say, certification. Uh, this is sort of like a training program that they offer. Uh, so they offer like you know, a three-day pro training program, and then at the end of the training, you get like a project work component. So you get sort of like a hands-on experience, something uh, you can say like you did the internship after your college. So this is similar to that. Now. This is also focusing on the cloud security knowledge and then skills, and this is vendor neutral uh, cloud security uh, uh, certificate. Uh, sorry, training. So it doesn't like you know focuses on the AWS or Azure or anything. It just gives you uh, uh, very vendor neutral uh, uh, training, and so as the other three certification that we talked about, none of those are like uh, like you know vendor specific trainings. Now, this certification also leverages cloud security knowledge from cloud architecture design perspective, along with the governance and cloud security process 
uh, details and the other thing that it also covers like you know security as a service security and risk management infrastructure defense processes and then perimeter defense cloud security administration like firewall and all those things and then industrial case studies focusing on important cloud security issues and their respective handling procedures so it will give you some real time real world examples and how how does someone tackle with those uh, scenarios so this is a good training program if somebody is not uh, familiar with the cloud at all so maybe uh, i would highly recommend uh, for this one of course you have to uh, like you know go to their website and, and look it up what the schedule is because it's going to be a uh, classroom training now uh, prerequisite is uh, certification of a GSTF certified cloud computing associate or you should have a CCCS so that's one of the uh, an advanced certification of Exim cloud technologies as well now the median salary for this one is $125,000. Uh, now let's let's look at the exam pattern because that's a bit different here. So uh, there's the the first component is written exam. So you get 30 questions, you get 45 minutes, and of course close book and multiple choice, and you have passing score of 65%. The second component, as I said, like you know, you get some uh, real world uh, hands-on experience so it's a project work component so allocated time is two weeks from the course completion date and of course you get the so you'll be given a, a scenario or the uh, some sort of like in you know, a situation and then you uh, do the hands-on and, and create that uh, sec like you define that security cloud security and and then you get the passing score of 65 percent so uh, these are the top four certification that I think uh, uh going to be uh, major in uh, coming into 2020 and and believe me like you know by the time we're going to hit the 2021 or 2022 most of the organization uh, would have been uh, like you know transitioned to the cloud or would have been migrated towards the cloud so cloud security is going to be massive thing in 2020 and 2021 so uh i hope uh you guys take do take advantage of this one uh like if you want to get into the cloud security if you have not uh got any of the cloud security knowledge right now so uh, then this is something a good point to start and uh, and even if you are not going to attend uh, or you do not want to appear for a certification that's fine as long as you guys do like you know just just go through their course curriculum and see what interests you the most just go through and read the book that that also gonna give you a lot of uh, knowledge and understanding and of course uh, on my channel I'll also be covering some cloud security topics on a weekly basis so we'll, we'll keep you guys posted uh, so that's it uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like uh, watching this video and of course subscribe to my channel for uh, weekly updates and, and weekly security videos I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.